the middle of the weekend feet. Here is an opportunity for Golden Arrows here. Goal kick. They may be looking for a corner kick, but it's definitely a goal kick. Jabulani. Right side coming to collect, but what a clever play in trying to smoke out uh, Okoriko. And unfortunately, Tapelo Nyango couldn't, but Msweni at the. Okoriko. Msweni. Mohamukati from striking the goal and dragged his effort, but alongside up in Sela night tonight for this league encounter is the legendary Shostel Tlaitla, who is. Uh, Bulela Kongobe going the other way for Ryan X Man, youth international for South Africa. Rulan Manzini again looking to get involved in play. Simon Nombete just trying to uh, run a high line here for Ramazulu, looking for possession, waiting for a ball to come. Is a problem, but you know, I think it's just great reflexes from the keeper. You got to give him credit for that as well. Uh, really is solid. But one wonders for how much longer. So 15 minutes gone by, Kola still remains in this opening half. That's out there in the field. All down wide, Tweni from the left back position, trying to finding uh, some of the danger players running into decent territory. Lani Manzini. Quite had it all their own way this evening, but they look the more dangerous here. Rusike charge down. Tueni gets his body in the way. This ball looking to go out on the near side. In the end, it's Rusike who won the Golden Arrows and Orlando Pirates on loan from Pirates at the moment. This is the 24 year old from Ulundi. And we're again down the line. Lovely run by Sanoka. It is a tip to cross for either Rusike or Mukate. It's blocked by Mtueni. into the area again it's Mtweni who's got on the end of it and steers the ball away United flowing movement here break into that 18 yard area dangerous looking but in the end it's Mtweni who's come away with it he's been really a thorn in the side of uh, Maritzburg United in the ages of this Zulu Natal derby oh beautiful header on target he's making his debut today and that'll just boost the confidence well it didn't look like much but I'll tell you Goalkeeper from Siobhan Ambata. But uh, somehow they get stick. His other name is Jerome. Gets to bounce that ball in just ahead of the goalkeepers. No doubt some slippery bounces that they'll be wanting to avoid as well. Siobhan Ambata chasing down the ball. A little turnaround. Zimbabwe. And wide towards Mtsweni. Possession from club to club. Mazulu for a moment though, look to maintain possession. Can they make it count? Another driving run forward. Pushing into an area that looks to prove dangerous to their opponents. So uh, really been around uh, a little as Sibong Ambata. Trying to find a teammate repelled by this Amazulu defense. And now they too look to hit on the counter-attack. They've been Certainly last season was uh, trying to play more as a box-to-box. -box. These conditions slipping through Zimela's defences. To Piri, who hesitated and had the ball nicked away from him. And the lead. And I'm sure now they need to regroup, stay switched on. Dapo, it's going to go wide. Mtsweni very quickly closed down, but he does well. Wale Fapule, one sort of sign for Mamazulu Football Club. Seventh long ball, Mario Boyson over the center after good ball played in into the penalty area. Playing the game, 
on the field of play. Simpiwe. Second half of this encounter. Let's see how the team started today. Max of Evans. Once again, Amazulu. Penalty area. Mguni arriving. A bit of a uh, goal must scrabble. Eventually, the goalkeeper comes to the rescue. That's how the game and uh, the first half ended. Long ball again. This time around. 20 is ball into the penalty. Yeah, the opportunity again. Yeah. Shot coming in. Here for Usutu. Thing it is on the ball yet yeah, from uh, Ishawini out in uh, the middle of the park from Krumpaka and I mean they simply didn't have enough time to pick up the isolated the man in between on this near side three inside the box already byline and corner good defense lifeline is this man on in possession in training played for Chiefs Numbers back for Mazulu. The second leg against Senegal either. And that ball very, very nearly got through to the Venezuelan striker. Talking about the National First Division, there's four teams in the NFD from Kuzulu Natal. Real Kings up in fifth place. Chance to be able to play regular football with Mazulu. Having spent about four seasons at Supersport with not a lot to show as far as game time. Really strikes your eye. Um, if you talk experience. The reason is simple, they were in the first division. Under 21 side, they're unranked in, uh, in Europe because uh, they're uh, quite a new uh, country as far as European football is concerned. But he's been working with them on a technical basis. And uh, the improvement on the national side at under 21 level has been remarkable. He's be playing as a centre back and uh, becoming very adventurous. Having a go at one another at every given opportunity. He missed it completely. It's uh, pretty bright and breezy. Kaiser Chiefs under pressure, 41% of the time, they're spending inside their own penalty area. Quite incredible. And uh, he's definitely going to play him as, as time goes. He's a great player. He likes him. Lovely touch. Who can play like this for 90 minutes? <laughs> it remains to be seen, William. And if they do, well, hats off all round. UM20. <laughs> Well, tidy things up, and Amazulu looking very, very comfortable indeed near the halfway line. Simpiwe M20. Bernard Parker. Well, still Bernard Parker. Mistake from M20. M20 seems to make up for it, though. Away by Gumede. Look at the composure in defence. Kings will achieve stadium because of the welcome rain in this part of the world. Tweni has been tripped up by Malawane. I am on uh, social media and Twitter and that sort of thing. It was a nasty looking injury in the beginning. He's, I say he's looking a little bit, no doubt, uh, would have made that clear in the dressing room. Delightful little pass through there again, but I think Tweni left it late to uh, accelerate out of the Cardoso. So, a bit of a fortunate let off there for Ramazulu. Yeah, I mean, if you have a look at the back, the Montreal Golden Arrows in Cape Town City at the top of the table and of the bigger opposition. Paez misses out on one and 20 will clear for Amazulu. Interesting to see that Siatemba Mguni's moved a little bit more over to the left hand side of attack. Kevin, but if you look at the way they are just playing in the Mother City where there's been the HSBC World Sevens Festival over this weekend. We hope uh, South Africa do well because they won uh, the uh, opening bid in uh, Hong Kong. Also Mguni who's the, who has the, the, the nick of getting those crosses on white but he hasn't done it from Nguni, look at them, the numbers back here for Usutu and I'm 20 will finally clear the danger I mean the way they're playing it's so difficult to tell the system that they came in yes it's a more of a three for three then will stand on it 20 looking for some space as well here for Usutu it's a nice ball as well I'm thinking it clearly offside flag on Mimela, would have been interesting to see if the touch had come from a Pirates play, whether the flag would have gone up from uh, Mr. Lindy Kayapola or not. And a nice fight there as well by Justin Shonga on the hard man Michael Morton. We wait to see 
when uh, the coaches are going to make substitutions because we're already heading up towards an hour of football play. Neither coach making a change. He's uh, had an influential part of the match so far. 20. So one of the commentators was saying, when in doubt, knock it out. So if you're a defender and you're getting yourself in it, instead of thinking about Nice turn away from Tamsanka Gabuza. 20 for Amazulu.